2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that you through his poverty might be rich. So in the grace of our Lord Jesus, you are not the one that becomes rich when you give. It is the person you give to that becomes rich. I'm not the one that becomes rich in giving. It is you that is receiving what I am giving that becomes rich. When we give in grace, we give to meet the needs of people. Somebody said to me, Dr. Damina, so when I give, what is my reward? My reward is that when I gave, the project I gave for happened. That's my reward. I gave for microphone. The microphone has been bought. My reward is that every time that microphone is used, I know that that is what I made available. That's my reward. What's my reward in paying your school fees? Is that you went to school and you have graduated. Your graduation is my reward for paying your fees. If I give for crusade, what is my reward? My reward is that the crusade happened. The message was preached. People came to the altar to be born again. That is my reward. My reward is that the reason for which I gave has been done. And that is why we don't just give. We keep giving and giving until the need is met. We keep giving and giving until the need is met. The system of giving to meet your own need is a very selfish doctrine. Brother Paul says, let him that stole steal no more. That is, you should be honest in your dealings. But rather, let him walk with his hand that which is good, that he may have to give. To him that is in need. So one of the reasons why I must walk is to have. So I can give to those that are in need. Not that, not, not that so that he can give to be blessed. No. So he can give to those who are in need. When their need is met. The meeting of their need is my reward. That's my blessing. When mama cooks in the kitchen. The reward of her cooking is that I ate it. If she cooked and I don't eat it. She has no reward for that cooking. So me eating it is a reward. She's happy to see that what she cooked, I am taking it in. He said, when you pay your tithe, number one, God will rebuke the devourers. Number two, God will open the windows of heaven and pour you a blessing that there will be no storehouse. No storehouse to receive the blessing. Since you have been paying tithe, for those of you that used to pay tithe, did you ever have any blessing where everywhere in your house there was no space? That should make you start thinking that something is wrong with that tithing. So instead of people giving to God out of a pure motive, people are giving to God out of a transactory motive. We are giving because God is going to give back. And if God doesn't give back, I will wait. Father, the last one. We are in business. That's not giving. That's business. <laughs> Businessmen in Christ. <laughs> the recipient of your giving is the one that becomes rich. So when we give, we give to meet needs. Our giving doesn't meet our needs. Our giving meets the needs of the receiver. 